In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus H2SO4. This is silver nitrate, and this is sulfuric acid. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. I can see that I have one silver atom here and then two here. Let's put a two in front of the AgNO3. Now I have two nitrates here and only one here. I'm going to put a two in front of the HNO3, that balances the nitrates. I have two hydrogens, two hydrogens, and then two silvers, two silvers. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now I can write the state for each substance. So nitrates are very soluble if you know your solubility rules. So we're going to have AQ. It's going to dissolve, dissociate, split apart into its ions. Sulfuric acid, strong acid, that will be AQ as well. Then we get to the silver sulfate. Sulfates are often soluble, but silver sulfate, that's an exception. Good one to remember. So this is going to be insoluble. It's not going to dissolve, so we write solid. When these two substances react, this forms a solid, falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction. Nitric acid is a strong acid, so that'll be aqueous as well. We have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That's going to give us the complete ionic equation. Silver is always one plus, and then this nitrate here, the whole thing is always one minus. So I have two silver ions, and I won't write the states right now. Let's do that at the end. Plus two nitrate ions, that NO3 minus. Then hydrogen on the periodic table, that's one plus, and the whole sulfate, two minus. So I have two of the hydrogen ions, two H plus, and then just the one sulfate. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart. So we're just going to keep that as Ag2SO4. So that'll stay together since it's a solid. We have a plus and a minus for the nitrate. So two hydrogen ions, just like in the reactants, and then two nitrates, like the reactants as well. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we get to cross out the spectator ions that are on both sides. So we're looking for things that are the same in the reactants and then in the products. So here's two nitrate ions here in the reactants, two in the products. Get rid of those. Those are spectator ions. Two hydrogen ions and then again in the products. Spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus H2SO4. Let me clean this up, write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus sulfuric acid. Note that charge is conserved. We have two times one plus, that's two plus, and then we have a two minus. They add up to zero, so the net charge is zero here. This is a neutral compound, net charge is zero as well. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus H2SO4. Thanks for watching.